Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari ST Gameplay. Now I just recorded an entire video on this game and um, somehow I didn't have any video from the game, just me. That is suboptimal, so I guess I'm gonna do it again. It might end up being a little shorter than before though. So, uh, also, you're not gonna see the title screen, are you? Hmm. Oh well. Oh well. So this game plays at, like, warp speed. It's... I tried multiple versions of it, and... Uh, one of the cracked versions was kinda glitch. well... Yeah. There were some glitches that made it unplayable, unfortunately. Um, they're all cracked versions. And, um, I got a little better at it, at playing for a while. And, uh, recording nothing but a black screen, apparently. Very annoying, actually, when you go to upload the video and you're like, 40 megabytes for a 20 minute video? That, that doesn't seem reasonable. And, uh, guess what? It's not. <laughs> Whoa. Bum. So the collision detection in this game is a little bit weak, a little bit loosey-goosey. That's my, other than the speed of it, that's my only significant criticism. Um, you know, the graphics are nice, the sound effects are good. It just plays at what feels like warp speed, that's all. And I can only assume that it was meant to be that way. Ooh, what's this? That's a new one on me. Oh, a shield. What? What on earth? Seriously, I've never... I don't remember seeing this power-up ever before. Uh, man. Can I get up this ladder? I can use some armor. Wow, this is an interesting weapon. Uh, if I can keep it. Oh yeah, you can, actually. I kinda, I'm kind of digging this weapon. I never saw it. Never saw it before. I don't think I ever saw this in the arcade either. <laughs> Seems pretty powerful. Comes the platform. So uh, it took me a good chunk of my last video to get this far. So I guess you're uh, benefiting from all that wasted recording time. Um, looks like it's recording. Of course, it looked like it was recording before, too, so I'm not quite sure. Ah, yes. Now, these guys behave a little differently here than they did in the arcade game. Pretty sure you... Well, I shouldn't... Maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm pretty sure you could shoot these guys in the arcade game from behind. Like, if you... When they went by you, you could shoot them in the, in the back, basically. And that doesn't seem to be a thing here. Jeez, this weapon is... Interesting. Now, I discovered that if you just kind of keep running, these guys don't seem to be able to do too much to you. So, uh... Oh, crap. And then there's that sort of Venus flytrap thing there that, uh... Now you start every... You start every... You start back at the beginning of the section every time you die. Which is probably how the arcade was, I guess. I'm not sure. Feels a little unfair. Uh, I need to remember that the the fly trap, the next one that comes up, is in fact you have to duck down to shoot it. So uh, you can shoot these guys. Oh, well, so much for running and getting ahead of them. That was working pretty good up until that point. Oh, come on. What? No way. I had such a good weapon, too. I guess that's a copyright. R R G. Trademark, copyright, etc. Well, now it's my bedtime, and I wanted to do another video after this. What a bummer. Right back in. Warp speed. Armor. Okay, that's what I need. Oh, no, that wasn't armor? Why was that not armor? It sure looked like armor. You dirty rats. Shit. Well, you can go a long way in your underwear in this game, as long as you don't get hit. Okay, that's what I'm talking about right there. 
the way these guys can just sort of come out of the ground when you're jumping, for example, so fast, and then by the time you land, they're already underneath you and killing you. So, that, but that, that said, there is a bit of a rhythm to, uh, to how they emerge from the ground, if you can kind of get used to it and work with it a bit. This up to jump business is hard for me to play on. I've, I've harped on that maybe arguably too much, but anyway. Anywho, I guess I'm getting used to it now. It does respond pretty well. It's just too easy to accidentally jump, is all. jumped quite a few times accidentally into these little these little ponds um, in my last recording session which was not ideal jump get lost you dirty rats now there's a demon coming up here of level demon and I just got stomped by it when I got to it last time uh, is this it no nope. oh yeah here he is no no yes and then right back to the start of the section um, I don't know if I ever knew how to beat that guy in the arcade um, I, I don't remember if it was this, like, Ghosts and Goblins or Ghouls and Ghosts on the Super Nintendo. I actually finished that version. Um, that was a hell of a game. I should, I should play that. Should do a video on that one before too long. Ah, uh, you rats. A little tricky, for sure, to keep your armor. the secret to fighting this demon guy. That's... I think that's kind of the right idea. Ah... Uh, be better if I got there with armor. For sure. Alright, I'll have another game or two. <clears throat> Um, bearing in mind that I've already been playing this for like half an hour now, or more. Alrighty, <sighs> firefighters, uh, shoot, jump, shoot, jump, dodge, duck, dive, dodge, dip. Go away, go away, go away. sort of whip through that section, you don't get very many points. But anyway, that's minor, minor quibble. At least I'm getting the hang of it now. Yeah, the graphics are actually very good in this game. One, a two, a three. No, see, there's an accidental jump, 100%, and that's annoying. <sighs> At least you get to be hit twice, but still. Don't seem to, no, don't seem to be able to uh, recover your armor, though. I've yet to be able to pull that off. Even when I felt like there was armor to be had, it didn't turn out to be armor. 
In the arcade game, these guys definitely dropped armor. Or, not armor. Um, weapons and such, as well as armor. Ooh. Yeah, just go ahead and stomp me. Why not? Why not? Oh, damn. The hell? I guess I walked right into the water, I suppose. Or did I walk right into the... The, uh, the armored ghost there. The shield ghost. If you're hunkered down like that, though, they can't do anything to you. So that's... Not terrible, I guess. If you know how to deal with it. Oh, get, come on. Seriously. Ah. <sighs> Once again, I come to the demon in my tidy whities the red band. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. Uh, oh, oh, he shot at me this time. Cool, cool. Well, I guess I'll play one more time. Um, so you haven't been watching me for that long, if you're watching this. But I've been playing this game for quite a while, and I had aspirations of recording another video with another game <clears throat> so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to that or not here it's getting a little late for me axe I don't really want the axe oh good I lost my armor and I got the axe all right the axe it is so far that shield is actually the best weapon I've had Oh, see, this is what I mean. Like, it's it's a little hard to pull off some of the normal things you can do with the lance and the, or the dagger. It takes a different range. Oh, I hate the torch. That's not... Come on. Let's not pick up the torch. See? Okay. That's annoying. Like, you should be able to... Oh no, I got hit by a bad guy. That's terrible. What a shame that is. Whatever will I do? <clears throat> you should be able to jump a weapon that you don't want, but in that case, there's no avoiding it, so I don't know what to do about that. Maybe, I don't know if it'll disappear or if you get back up. Maybe you could back up and get it off the screen, maybe, possibly. I'm not sure. I think that's just points. That should be better if it was armor, actually. Accidental jump. Didn't kill me for a change. Dagger's not a bad weapon. Okay, I 100% shot that guy. See, that seems like it should be armor, but it isn't. The tidy whitey nighty to the rescue. Or to his own death, I guess. More like loading the, f the haunted forest. He's a pretty long arm when you look at it. A one, a two, a three, shield ghosts, boom, boom. A one, a two, a three, three shield ghosts. And now for the other ghosts. I don't know what those are, what kind of ghosts those are, but don't like them. No, no, why would you turn around so fast? Seriously, man. That's kind of horse, horse pucky. That's what that is. Go away. Go away. 
away, go away. Go away. Go away. For crying out loud. If I could ever get to this demon and not in my underpants, I feel like I'd have a better shot. I don't know how to uh, fight this guy, so maybe I just stand back here. Not quite like that. I do not know the answer for that dude. He is a big ugly. He is a big ugly bugly, that is for sure. So anyway, um, thanks so much for watching. Hope you got some enjoyment out of that. Got a reasonable look at the first level, even if I have no idea how to beat that guy. Um, yeah, you take good care of yourselves, and I shall see you next time.